Dear Anthony, happy wedding day, babe. After a little over two years of planning, we are finally here. I cannot wait to look into your eyes and say I do. I have dreamt and prayed this day would come for so long. You look so handsome. You are a million dreams and a million prayers of a little girl come true. I cannot wait to be your wife. <laughs> Yeah! Samantha Joe, wow, to think that after three and a half years of dating and a two year engagement, our wedding day is finally here. I remember my first day of work when I walked to McKay Gig and saw your stunning smile, sweet personality, and how I was through it. After a few months of watching your incredible work ethic, driven personality, and loyalty to your people and your faith, I knew you would have won my heart by the rest of my life. AJ started to talk to me about this cute bartender at the bar they worked at in college. The more he talked about her, the more I could tell he was extremely interested in her. And better yet, she was single. All he needed was a chance. The day after they started dating, AJ texted me, quote unquote, she's wife material. When I see you, I see a man with a heart that can never hold too many people or too much fashion. You are undoubtedly devoted to God. You are kind to every person you cross path with. Thank goodness you were so persistent at KK a couple years ago. Suspense is killing me. Hey, <laughs> gorgeous. Shaved. I did shave. You look beautiful, babe. Thank you. I have looked forward to this day for the past two years. I know it will be everything we could have hoped for and more. I am beyond excited to call you my wife. You are truly an incredible woman. The way you sacrificed for me shows me a love like I've ever seen. You truly love to see me happy, even if that means going out hunting, doing our supposed wedding shower. And I pray that I bring you the daily happiness you bring me for the rest of our lives together. Good afternoon, everyone. It is so beautiful to see all of you here this afternoon. My name is Father Ken Omernick. I'm the pastor of St. Charles Parish in Heartland, the parish in which AJ grew up. AJ, I've known you for 14 years. I've watched you go from this wonderful little kid to the wonderful man you are now. And I'm honored that through you, I've been able to meet Sam, this beautiful woman that you've fallen in love with. I want to say thank you to you right at the beginning because there's hardly a happier thing that a priest can do and to be asked to do a wedding. And when you know the people, even more so, so thank you. You make me a better person each and every day I get to love you. I couldn't ask for a better man I get to spend the rest of my life with. Your kindness, love, and support makes me want to be the best person I could be. I am the luckiest woman alive to get to spend the rest of my life with you, AJ. I cannot wait for more life adventures and to grow old with you. I will always be in your corner. Now let's get on with spending forever as a husband and wife. I love you. Thank you for planning this incredible day and for all the work and sacrifices you have made for me over the course of these last three and a half years. Thank you for pushing me every day to be a better person in my faith, in my relationship with you, in my family, in school, and in every possible aspect of my life. I love you so much, babe. Here's to our forever after all, and next thing you know, I will be able to officially call you my wife. Love your soon to be husband. Oh, I almost made it too. <laughs> Hi, Anthony. Hi, Samantha. Take you, Samantha. Take you, Anthony. To be my wife. Be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you. And to honor you all the days of my life. Brothers and sisters, let us humbly invoke God's blessing upon Samantha and Anthony whom God has bestowed today on them the sacrament of matrimony. Mr. and Mrs. Anthony and Samantha. Every dad has a vision of the kind of man they want their daughter to marry. And once I was able to look beyond all the Packer sweatshirts, you, you won our hearts by, what, by the way you fit in with the family, 
Sam deserves the world, and we know AJ, you will give it to her. So my advice to you is don't screw it up. You love and like each other as equals, partners, and best friends. So celebrate the blessings in life, and when the harder days come, face them together with patience, a little laughter, a lot of forgiveness, and if all else fails, there's booze and wine. But who is Sam Hool? She's a woman of faith. She's a pursuer of people. She values friendships tremendously. She's definitely someone you can always count on. Make sure to cherish each other day in and day out because you two are awesome and everyone here loves you. I love you, love you, love you, love you. But then when you, your child finds someone who loves them as much, that's even more loving and, and warm into your uh, parent's heart. I have to tell you, we're a whole lot better having Samantha in our family. To the Basils, cheers. We love the both of you. Cheers to the happy couple, bottoms up. So cheers to the family and the new Mr. and Mrs. Basil, we love you. <laughs> <laughs>